guys can see, this is what the color of the carpet should be. But it's a Japanese restaurant, so it's kind of kind of to be expected with all the grease and the foot traffic this place gets. Of course, they're not; they haven't been maintaining it like they should. So, we're we'll taking some videos uh, during the cleaning process, so you guys can check out the results. A shadow right there. You can stand much of a difference already. This is the first area we're working on. For the cleaners out there that might be wondering, we're using a uh, Prozyme uh, from Pro's Choice. Uh, we put it down with the inline sprayers in any areas that need it. A little extra attention, we're uh, uh, going to use the work sprayer. This All right, I'm gonna show you guys the progress so far. Like I said earlier, uh, I'm doing this in clips, so I'm not, this isn't a con uh, continuous recording I'm doing, so you're gonna see it's kind of broke up, but uh, for the cleaners out there that are probably watching this, this is the product we're using. Um, so far, so good. I've not had to add any kind of booster to it. Um, like I said previously, we're not doing any kind of agitation because I just wanna see how these uh, uh, products that we're using are gonna work, and they're working really well. Uh, lay down with the inline sprayer. And then for any heavily, heavily soiled areas where they do a lot of walking, we'll hit it with the, um, the work sprayer, some other coat on there to kind of break up the grease. Because some areas it's just so thick, uh, they're just having to, to cut through that grease. We're going to have to have to hit it again. Um, that area right there being one of them. So that's the progress so far. I think the owner is going to be uh, very happy. You can see areas like that. That's all shadow. The light in here is poor. It's really uh, horrible lighting. That's all shadow, so it might look probably dirty on the camera, but it's, it's not. Um, there we go. You see my shadow, too. Keep in mind, there's a lot of shadow in here. Um, you're probably going to hear me say this a lot in this video uh, because, like I said, there's a lot of shadow, so you're going to see areas. I have my light on the camera, but you still, you still can see all the shadows. I just kind of want to point that out because I know there will probably be comments uh, below talking about, oh, it's still dirty. But 
definitely not. Uh, if you guys can remember, I did a walkthrough of uh, the previous clip with this. Um, how soiled it was. Uh, this is what it looks like now. You can even see my shadow as I'm walking through here, but and of course we move all the booths and everything. They, funny thing is, is the owner didn't want, uh, he's like, oh, you guys don't have to worry about that. It's not too bad underneath that. Uh, problem is they don't really ever vacuum underneath there, so it can get really bad, especially in a Japanese restaurant. Um, so definitely wanted to move all the tables and booths and everything and get underneath that. This is one of the really bad areas coming from the, um, you can see they have the, the food and everything over there. So really, really soil, a lot of grease. And you can see uh, <laughs> night and day. Big time difference, huh? So I kind of just wanted to do a walkthrough of this so you can see um, what it looks like after cleaning a Japanese restaurant.